Selling belt buckles is a great way to make money on eBay. I've made thousands of dollars selling these buckles and you can too, because in this video, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to do it. And we're getting started right now. What's up guys, my name is Justin and here on YouTube, I go by Coach Commerce because on my channel, I like helping people get better at selling online. And in today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how you can make money selling belt buckles on eBay. Now I know you're probably thinking, how can you make money selling belt buckles on eBay? Because I never see people in person wearing belt buckles out in public. Well, I'm here to tell you that the belt buckle market is alive and well, and if you don't keep an open mind, you're gonna miss out on a lot of money that you could be potentially making on eBay by selling these guys right here. Now there are obviously people that buy belt buckles to complement their look and what they're wearing, like cowboys, um, truckers, people that ride motorcycles. You know, there's different subcultures of people that wear belt buckles to, you know, put on display. But there are also people that buy belt buckles to collect them. A lot of collectors of belt buckles will buy belt buckles, put them in like a shadow box and display them on the wall of their house. And belt buckle collecting is a big deal and a big hobby. People will spend a lot of money to fill out their collection and to find that missing belt buckle that they can't live without. Okay, so now that we've established that there is a really good market for selling belt buckles on eBay, and we've talked a little bit about who buys belt buckles online, let's talk about now where you can find belt buckles to then sell for more money on eBay. Now, if you're familiar with reselling and eBay, you know that a lot of resellers like myself find products to source, like belt buckles right here, at various places such as thrift stores, flea markets, yard sales, garage sales, you name it. Anywhere where you can find things for cheap and then sell for more is a great place to try to find things like belt buckles that you can then flip and then resell. And all of those ways of treasure hunting and picking are great. You will find belt buckles in those places, but if you really wanna make a lot of money selling buckles on eBay, the way to do so is by selling them in large quantities or by buying in bulk and then selling them individually on eBay. Now the way that I find big bulk lots of belt buckles to then resell on eBay is by doing digital sourcing or e-sourcing. That's where you go on places like Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, even eBay, and look for people selling collections of belt buckles and buying that collection and then parting them out one by one back on eBay. And if you take the time to hunt, you can find big lots of belt buckles, like 50 to 100 at a time, and you can buy them all for a wholesale price and then resell them individually for more. Now, of course, when you're sourcing belt buckles in this fashion, you're gonna put a lot more money up front to buy a big collection like this, but you're gonna have a bigger opportunity to make more money on the back end once you sell each belt buckle individually. For example, a collection of belt buckles like this is probably gonna cost you a few hundred dollars, but if you buy them you know, in bulk like this, you can then turn around and resell them for a few thousand dollars. And of course, when you're buying belt buckles in bulk, the general rule is the same rule that applies to anything that you're reselling. You wanna buy low enough to where you're gonna make an actual profit when you turn around and resell them. My general rule of thumb when I'm buying belt buckles is I wanna spend no more than $5 per belt buckle because on average, I'll sell a belt buckle individually for $20 to $30 in most cases. But also keep in mind, when you buy a big collection like this, there's gonna be a few diamonds in every bag to where you'll be able to sell them for upwards of $50 or more. It's not uncommon for me to find an individual belt buckle that I'll sell for over 100 in a large lot like this. Okay, so now let's talk about what makes one belt buckle more valuable than another. And we'll go ahead and start with the material that the belt buckles are made out of. So here in my hand, I have an example of three different belt buckles. I've got one made out of leather, looks like it was handmade or hand tooled. I've got another in the middle that's made out of pewter, which you'll find a lot of belt buckles made of pewter because pewter's a very malleable type of metal that can easily be formed and molded. And we also have a brass or a bronze belt buckle. Now obviously, the higher the quality of metal, the more valuable the belt buckle is gonna be. So between the three belt buckles I have right here, this one's gonna be the most valuable just because it's the most valuable type of metal. Now of course, if I were to have a silver or even a gold belt buckle, those are gonna be worth even more than like a bronze or a brass belt buckle. So the quality of metal or the quality of material that the belt buckle is made out of is going to really up the value of the belt buckle itself. Now in addition to what type of metal the belt buckle is made out of, you'll also wanna pay attention to the inlay. For example, this belt buckle right here has an enamel inlay, but if it were made out of like precious stones or materials, for example, like if this was a turquoise inlay, it would be even more valuable than an enamel inlay. So pay attention to what's actually put into the belt buckle front as well. 
Now, if we move away from what the belt buckles are actually made out of, there are also things that increase the value of a belt buckle that have nothing to do with the quality of material that the belt buckle is actually made out of. And the biggest attribute to the quality of a belt buckle is what's the subject matter? For example, the belt buckle I have right here is Harley Davidson, and that's a really collectible type of belt buckle because it's a large recognizable brand. So really pay attention to subject matter. What is the belt buckle showing or displaying? Because the subject matter of a belt buckle alone can sell the belt buckle for you. Now, in addition to the quality materials and what the subject matter is of the belt buckle, you also wanna pay attention to what's on the back of the belt buckle. A lot of times you'll find a stamp or an inlay in the back of the belt buckle that will tell you things like if it's a limited edition run or if it was handmade or custom made. So really pay attention to like the hallmarks on the back of the belt buckle or even the brand of the belt buckle because some brands are more valuable than others. Okay, so once you've determined the value of your belt buckle, it's time to actually list it and post it for sale on eBay. Now, if you've never sold anything on eBay before, I'm not gonna take the time to teach you how to do that in this video. But once this video is over, if you look at the other videos on this channel, I have a lot of content about how to list on eBay. But one thing I wanna talk about real quick when it comes to listing belt buckles on eBay is that there really isn't much work involved in actually listing them. Because when you take pictures of the belt buckle, there's really not much you have to do afterward in terms of describing the belt buckle or pointing out any important features because the pictures really speak for themselves. So when I'm photographing a belt buckle that I wanna post on eBay, one thing that I always like to do is I always like to, of course, take really good pictures of the front and the back, but I also like to take a ruler and put that in the picture as well when I'm photographing it to really show the scale and the size of the belt buckle because belt buckles come in all different shapes and sizes. Now when I list belt buckles for sale on eBay, I never put them up for auction. On eBay, you have the ability to run any sale as an auction, but you also have the ability to list something as what's called buy it now or good till canceled. And that's kind of like more what a regular brick and mortar store would be like. You're gonna put a flat price and you're gonna put it up at a set price for anybody to come in and purchase it off of the shelf of your store. And when you put belt buckles up as buy it now, good till canceled, all you have to do is wait for the sale to happen. It could happen right away, or it could take a few weeks or maybe even a few months. But the good thing about when they sell in this fashion is you're gonna get exactly your asking price for the item. Whereas with an auction, it may not sell as much as you were hoping it would sell for. But as I was saying, when it comes to listing belt buckles on eBay, it's actually really easy to do. And belt buckles are so easy to list that you can actually get a lot of them listed at one time. You can sit down and in a matter of an hour or so, list a whole bag of belt buckles up and active in your eBay store. Now, when I'm done listing a belt buckle on eBay, I always take that buckle and I put it inside of a Ziploc bag. That way it's ready to go into storage. Because if you were to take this buckle and put it back into a loose bag or a loose bin of buckles, chances are if it moves around or if it shifts, it's going to end up getting scratched and then your buyer, when they get it in the mail, they're not gonna be happy that the belt buckle was damaged. So putting it in a Ziploc bag not only protects it, but it gives it a nice professional look. And also, when you make a sale on eBay, congratulations, good job making money selling a belt buckle. But you also wanna make sure that you really protect that belt buckle when you're shipping it. What I like to do is I always like to take it and roll it in like bubble wrap, or I like to take padding paper and really pack it well when I put it into a box or a poly mailer. And even though these belt buckles are a lot of times made of metal, they still can get broken and damaged in the mail. The post office are pretty rough with packages, so always go the extra mile to really pack them well with bubble wrap or with packing paper. All right, so if you follow these steps, you are gonna be well on your way to making good money selling belt buckles on eBay. But real quick, before I go, if I can give you guys a few good pointers about selling belt buckles on eBay, the first thing I would say is the more you sell, the better you're gonna get at it. The more belt buckles you handle, the more you actually pass through your hands, the more knowledge you're gonna get, and that knowledge will equate into making better purchases and better sales when it comes to selling belt buckles on eBay. And then secondly, probably my biggest tip is don't let little mistakes and setbacks really get you down. Um, when it comes to selling on eBay, nobody's perfect, and especially if you're just getting started or beginning, this is a great way to learn how to sell on eBay and a great way to make really good money doing it. Um, you're gonna make mistakes, but don't let those things stop you. Learn from your mistakes, keep trying, and you're gonna have a lot of success. And real quick before I go, guys, if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to drop them down below, and I promise I'll try to do my best to get back to you. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.